Welcome back. Now, time for us to talk about art. Now, art not in painting, but art in dancing. Because now, globally, they don't see art as a therapy um, for healing and, and therapy for bringing back joy. Because now, they don't they involve art in medicine because they don't realize they come. Art and medicine can actually help uh, the healing process, and especially in a lot of uh, places where they don't they displaced by certain um, calamities. And that's now why we get this Kajat guest. We don't join us inside the house to talk more on the plans where the society um, of um, performing arts in Nigeria gets um, to make sure say art they expand them not just in Nigeria, not just in Lagos. I mean, to different um, states. For inside Rubodo, Nigeria. Join me, welcome the CEO of Span, Sarah Bulos, into the house. Good to have you. Good welcome to the show. Thank you. So, looking at dance and looking at um, the art of dancing, mm -hmm. tell us how therapeutic yes. is it in terms of in medicine or even in healthcare. Okay, so basically, this is the way it is. An art tool affects the brain, and from the brain you have a different nervous system. So when the brain has been uh, sort of immunized because of violence or any shock and everything, there's certain synapses and nerves that shuts down. So the area of the brain becomes totally numb and you become paralyzed. So people who have been on the street, people who have been uh, suffering of some kind of violence or tragedy have a sense and they lost what we call the touch of humanity and emotion. So the only way, I mean, one of the most, I think, efficient way, rather than giving medicine or anything, is to actually engage them in art tools, within music, strings instrument, using dance, using calligraphy and writing. These are art tools that allows the, the child or the adult who has lost all sense of humanity and emotion to be able to reestablish a connection to the world. And so that's what it does. Now, the Society for Performing Arts in Nigeria, um, we've done the on ground for years now. Mm -hmm. Tell us the different strategies one I don't take to make sure, say, um, art becomes part of our daily life, especially dancing. Yes. So I, I've realized that nobody just watches a show unless they want to be popular, dress up, go for a party, find the boyfriend or the girlfriend. And so it's very shallow. Mm -hmm. But if you start taking art from a different point of view, where you see that art will become like another Bible to me. And I will be able to use the tools of music. I will take a dance class, I will take a music class, I will take an acting class to be able to nurture myself as a human being. There is something that happens. And I know it because a lot of people tell me you've changed. Yes, I did because I'm always involved with something as part of my brain that is different from the daily lives. And so what happened, Span decided that you cannot do it without a theme. So every year we have a theme. Okay. And this year it's called Your Success is My Victory. Wow, Your Success is My Victory. What do yes. you bring about Why? that theme? Yeah. Yes. So I realized that what is it that made me personally who I am today in Lagos and be part of the community and everything. I'm not really victorious in any way. I'm not a super ballerina or anything like that. And I realized it was the different successes of the people that I helped nurture that gave my victory. So God reminded me, it's not about you. Yeah. The more you help others, the more you help others succeed, the more you will feel that sense of victory in your life. And by the time you're done, you will realize that a lot of people have seen that. And so what is the definition of victory? Is it to be a superstar on stage and have a lot of fans? Or is it actually to make a difference? So I'm telling people, when you, don't, you have not achieved and you've not realized anything, why don't you help your neighbor achieve? Why don't you help somebody else succeed? Because we're so much into ourselves. It's about me, me, me. How am I going to make it? I'm going to struggle through the roads of Lagos, make it happen, get that food. It, it, okay, you have two indomie pack. And you, have, you don't know if tomorrow you'll have that second indomie mm -hmm. pack. Somebody is asking you for one. Will you share it? When you start shifting that narrative, not about the church pushing you to give, I'm talking about you as a human being, paralyzed in your house because you have no future. What do you do? What Span is doing now is using that motto, using dance and music to tell, I'm telling my story basically tomorrow and Sunday, and I'm telling my story so that people can understand that it's not about you. The minute you say it's not about me, your whole life will change. But Sarah, what is your story now? Because you and I are referring to a community terrain where you don't really understand them very well, and you're trying to create a niche in the art industry. 
Yes. What has your story been so far? Yes. So I have always thought that as a child that I would do something very special, that it would be about me. And so when I came to Lagos and I started working in the last 14 years, we have raised 650 students that have become trainers. There is 21 dance studio open in Lagos. That is not mine, it's my, the, my professionals. We have seven artists. We have just now on this day, we have published Emmanuel is going to the Prague University. He's been selected for a full scholarship. Tomorrow night at 7.30 at Lagoon, there is Peter James, a Lion King, the Lion King from Spain. He's now Peter James, he used to be a student of ours, he will be performing. Uh, we have so many success stories. So what is my story? Yes. It's the stories of others. Beautiful. Lovely. So now we're not saying not the easy. 14 years we're going to do mm -hmm. this thing we're yes. actually so passionate about. Uh, we're not saying people, they see you now and they just mm -hmm. they admire. They don't say some things they're behind. Tell us mm -hmm. some of the challenges we you don't face. Since, I'm not saying you don't they do what they do for over 10 years yes. and you have been so consistent. Tell us some of the challenges. All right. So an example of one of the challenges was funding. Okay, so I never get the, so I, every time I take a dance class, the money is saved to help somebody for free or to help a project make happen. So what happened this time, my budget was cut. So oh. I couldn't do my festival span fest. So I had to do something and then I wanted to give up. And then suddenly I started seeing another way of thinking. And I said, okay, you have a small budget, what do you do? Partner, so we're partnering with the West African Salsa Congress okay. and bring people together reduce your budget, try to work with Lagoon Restaurant that is a, a, a lower budget, but it's a very nice family that I know, the Shaguris, and over there, and try to see if they can, you can convince them to have four days. So we did the 10 days workshop. So we did Spanfest, mm. but we but long, we yeah, worked yeah, it way, so that yeah. we don't have so much money to spend. Mm -hmm. And it worked. And then I called out each individual friends, help me please, I need 200,000 Naira for this or that. And we did a brochure with all the success stories and we put their advert. You know that today I thought that only my expatriate friends would help me, but I had actually equivalent or even a bit more Nigerians who came and gave me that money. Mm -hmm. So when I thought I was lost and I couldn't find a way out so that I can get those young students on stage and work and bring in the international people coming like Paul Lee, Peter James, Rule Rogers and the champions of salsa of the world coming to this weekend to do the workshop and also presenting their works, everything started putting things into place. So you need to look for other ways and you need to trust that because you are working hard, not for you but for somebody else, things will come and it will make it happen and that's what happened. Sure. And I, I also think one thing when Nigerians like the same, if you are consistent at what you they do, and you also also put in a lot of passion, people would definitely buy into what you they sell. Now I know say so you now get plans of taking span beyond Lagos. Yes, tell us about it. So we have partner. We've been working on this for two years. We are going to Delta State, Zaria, Kano, and we're going to be developing in different camps the art therapy model using the same story, but decompose it and trying to give the children and the families who have been displaced a sense of being and a sense of humanity. And we're coming with experts. Mm -hmm. And we are joining hands also with already established organization there who need yeah. our help. So I'm a clinical therapist in art. I have uh, graduated as a certificate in, um, in creative dance. And then I have studied the art and how it's um, connected because I have a biology major. Mm -hmm. So I've done my, my study. So I'm bringing two experts in art therapy from um, Canada and from the US that will be joining hand with me. And it's a two weeks project and the whole team of SPAN is going. So how do some take help children or people where they for inside displaced communities, mm -hmm. especially those communities where don't they attacked by Boko Haram? Exactly. That's how it. go take help them? So what happened is that you see them in a one week workshop session, boot camp. You first present them a story. You use their language. Everything will be translated in their language and dialect. Mm -hmm. Then you present the story, you dance. Then you see the reaction. If they have no reaction, okay. you actually make them dance. Oh, mm -hmm. you, you involve actually, them. You involve them in the story. You carry them along. They write. They put the backdrop. They start working on different spaces. Then they start playing music instruments. 
then we start telling them what note is. Then they start connecting to the story. They start singing. We tell them, okay, let's sing. So these are little things that we start taking. We give them a pen and they start splashing paint all over the paper. Mm. So now they are engaging. So if they were numbed and they didn't have any reaction, which happens a lot here in yes. Nigeria, mm -hmm. you do a show, you are all excited and nobody People reacts. Like, oh, nobody's laughing. You know, nobody's mm -hmm. laughing, nobody's reacting. They said, okay, it's because of the struggle. Yes. The struggle box you. The pain mm -hmm. too. The pain paralyzes mm -hmm. you. So you have no emotion. Mm -hmm. But my story triggers that emotion. My story is a story of a child who, had, who was neglected, even if she was wealthy in a school and rejected by her friend, even if she was popular. I don't know if you understand mm -hmm. the dichotomy. Mm -hmm. So she was still alone. And so the child at one point in time could not achieve her purpose, so she became depressed. Then she shifted her narrative and started helping others, so the depression went. Mm. So you can deal with this by engaging them to help their neighbors. So we're gonna teach them. We're gonna give them um, different games and teach them, okay, do this, up we shift. Do this, up we shift. So that's why the story tonight uh, that we're happening at Legos, uh, at Lagoon Lago. Restaurant and Sunday with music is also engaging the audience to think. So I'm doing reflections and I'm asking questions to the audience while they're watching the show. Beautiful. Wow. Now looking, looking at, um, the, listening to your story wow. and, and um, I mean, I didn't even imagine myself inside them. And, exactly. Um, imagine other people too. Mm -hmm. When it comes to dance, a lot of people, um, especially if they're on the bigger side, yeah. those talk say, ah, I don't feel move my body like this. So especially when they see us, they believe like rubber band or they do like snake. I don't feel doing like that. <laughs> I mean, so for those kind of people, how do they take and encourage them yeah. to get up on their feet? Yes. Because sometimes if it be, um, um, inferiority complex yes, exactly. where they make them actually say no i'm not gonna fit i don't i can't do that you know where how do they take convince them yes. to bring them on stage or to take them to your your dancing class yes. or make them come for your dancing class so it starts by understanding what your body is and where you are with your body first it's a it's a mental decision and then you do two things that i've learned in ballet recently okay. i was just doing the cuban you tighten your butts okay you tighten your your belly you stand up straight with your legs stretched out. You shine your light from your, um, your chest. And you start feeling that you are totally in control. Wow. You see, that's what happens. We must surely, you must surely teach us uh, this particular technique. Then. Exactly. So that's what happens. So when you do this, you start putting yourself in a predicament that, OK, I feel torn. Mm. I feel ready. Mm. I feel so. It's a whole process. And then running, two things that I've learned. Little runs every day, yeah. mm -hmm. breathing. It's yeah. called the brain dance. It helps. And then after that, you go to a salsa party. You go to just watch people dance. And suddenly somebody will invite you. Everything starts slowly. Like tonight, there is a salsa party after the event. Yeah, yeah. and you have to be there. So Give them information about the salsa about party. Salsa. Yes. yes, so yes. after the show, 7.30 to 8.30, okay. the show is 15 minutes. And when, after when? that, today or tomorrow? Lagoon Restaurant, today, today, today. and Saturday. Saturday. Okay. There is no show on Saturday. There is only a salsa party and a salsa event. Okay. So Saturday is the West African Salsa Congress last, uh, before last day, the finale. And on Friday night, I mean tonight, they are coming uh, around 9 o'clock and they're all going to be dancing after my show. That's why my show has to finish early, mm -hmm. that they can take on and so they don't go home too late, you know. So that's why. And on salsa, and on Saturday it starts at 6 for the salsa party. So it gives you an, Id an idea of what, um, how we are working together as two organizations who are two different events. And join hands. Yeah. I totally Beautiful. like this, and Love I salute um, all the things where Thank they you. actually do. Now, for those where they actually watch us, now we get interest in dancing, and they see there's so much passion where they put into them. Um, how can they be a part of the society of um, performing arts in Nigeria? Uh, it's very simple. We okay. had 150 students this week. Okay, it was for free. So you free. sign up. How did they sign what? up? They went online free. and they just signed up and they showed up. So. 50 young actors were trained by one of the most famous producers, and it was for free. They just registered. Wow. 50 musicians by Paul Lee from Houston. And then we had those three champions that came from overseas, and they were trained. So we had, in count, we fed, and we fed everybody. Ah. 150 people. Wow. And we had, um, that was yesterday, I know, because I signed the check. 
<laughs> oh my. Wow, beautiful. Such a beautiful thing with the that they do. Yes. Um, so how can they be a part of it? As so in... you just sign up spine, www.spanigeria.org. Okay. Info at spanigeria.org. S-P-A-N or just S-P-A. S-P-A Nigeria. S-P-A. Like S-P-A. S-P-A. Nigeria. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, yes. So okay. they can sign up and register okay. and then they can become a student. And next year we're starting night school. Oh. Ooh. So if you are working, okay. you can knock, you can come on Tuesday evening and Thursday evening, and um, and study dance, music, and drama. I would in the definitely evening. love to be a part of it. Do you have a presence online on Instagram? Uh, yes, it's called Official Spa Nigeria. Okay. And on Facebook, it's Spa Nigeria also. Spa Nigeria. Yes. Oh. Just quickly, my last question: What will be your plans for 2020? Because 2020 is already around. It does the around the corner. Yes. So 2020 is our 15th anniversary Ooh. so you know my dream is to build a performing arts center and when God spoke to me and showed me the vision of doing this 15 was a very big number so ah. with our we are, our pilgrimage to the different states is the start up mm -hmm. of our 15 anniversary and it's not about us it's called keep moving pass it on Wow. Keep moving, I love pass that. it on. I love Thank that. you so much. I'm Sarah Bonos, I'm the CEO of SPAN, uh, uh, Society. Society of Performing yes. Arts in Nigeria. She now passed away, they say, since 2005, she done not contribute her own quarter in the art industry, and she done not very, very consistent. So if you not say you want to use art as a therapy for you, especially for those who say, we understand say Nigeria day very hard sometimes. So if you know say you just want to fill your life with fun, log on to their website and even on Instagram, follow them and see other activities where they get where they go actually um, and, and entertain you and enlighten you. So please follow them. Thank you once Thank again. You. Thank, Thank you, you so again. much. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.